Yay! Okay, so we are on an adventure to find props and costumes for this really cool shoot that we're gonna do, and we're recording like everything. So. Yes, all the behind the scenes look. So we are looking for clothes, and as you can see, I'm in the clearance aisle. So mm -hmm. we're kind of going for like burnt orange, mustard yellow, and like maroon, some just more like a, a vintagey colors. And so that's seeing what we can find. So now I am digging this. Cute, that's cute. Because this would look really good with mustard yellow pants. Looking so curve. let's go, let's find some mustard yellow pants and then you can see. See what we can find. Okay, so I was looking for mustard colored pants, but they don't have any, but I have some already. So I'm kind of looking, see how these colors go together? They go really well. Now the pants that I have are a little bit brighter, a little bit more yellow than this, but it'll still go really well. So I'm gonna get this. This is good, we're gonna feel. We are in the Checking out some more boys' clothes. They got some cute <gasps> stuff. Jackets. Dude. Oh my cool. gosh. Look at that. What? That Little could be used. Suit. Easily could go with it. So cool right there. You could do, what did you say? Like, oh, like, like a, a fighter pilot? pilot? Yeah. Like a little mechanic. A mechanic. Kinda. Oh, with the, like at the, um, oh. with the tires. Oh my gosh. Can we do All right. that one? Alright, let's go. Let's take the whole rack and let's just go right okay, now. Okay, come on. Okay, so now we're in a fabric store and I'm looking for some fabric for one of our pieces that we're making. So, oh, yeah. Look at that. Say hi, Erin. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so we like this one. Yes. It's really cute. It would go with the mustard yellow. It would go with the the maroon. And this is just the theme of what we're doing. The theme of what we're doing, which Girl. is what you'll see later. Stay tuned. <laughs> we, we've come to the clearance rack now. We're looking. Yeah, we're in the clearance aisle. And um, we're, I'm really digging this too. And we're liking this more than the other one. Because we're looking for stripes and we like the big stripes and again you'll see why and the maroon shirt we got yes and the maroon shirt too and so we could tone this down to match the maroon shirt and post processing so that's because we make magic that's right okay so the other stripe fabric that we found was like 24.99 a yard um and now I just found this one and it's a little bit different color so we might have to actually change some of the burnt orange which I was originally looking for into um, more of a maroon um, but I really like the old feel that it gives and it's $9.99 a yard and 50% off. off and we just need two yards so bam we get two yeah. yards 10 bucks Win. oh, wins every time yes. <laughs> just count What's up? What's up? We're in the antique shop. Yes, we're in the antique store. Seeing if we can score some really cool stuff. Sometimes if you don't even find the thing you're looking for, you find something that sparks your imagination for another shoe. Yeah, right. Always good. Yeah. And Jackie's found a hat. Nice. You gotta try hats on when you're in the antique shop, right? So we just finished going to about three antique stores, Target and a fabric store, and got a few things for some other shoots because it sparked some ideas for some more shoots and we'll be sharing more later. So we've got our material right here. We've got a box and we got a beautiful location. So we'll, we're about to put our Model in the box and uh, do a fun little shoot here. Here. Okay, so we are. You're doing so good, buddy. Yeah. Yep. 
All right, so I'm, I wanted to, as far as the lenses goes, I wanted to shoot more, um, cause actually I, to find a, a <laughs> all right, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> okay. So for this shoot, I really don't need a lot of trees in the background, but to, to find an actual like field with no trees here is almost impossible. So I'm shooting with my prime 105 millimeter and I'm going to be shooting wide open. So that way everything's blurred out. It's going to be easy just to kind of take out the sky later and kind of add and play in Photoshop as well. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and one more time!